Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game after the campaign video. I've done a few of these in the past, and it's been a while since I've done my most recent one, so I've decided to once again bring five games back to the tabletop that are now done, completed after the campaign. Some of these games span several years, and some of them are a bit more recent, and some of the games you might not have even seen me play as a prototype, but I in fact did. And so I want to talk about the new stuff that you get, or how it looks, and what I feel about it after the campaign is over. Over. The first one being Magda by Gilgamesh Games. This is basically like a space odyssey where you're going up in like kind of this cryo sleep chamber and using your mind to like control the ship because otherwise you would die before you reached your destination. And Magda, the ship's computer, is the one that's overseeing the flight. She wants you to stay in cryo sleep basically for as long as humanly possible because she's in love with you. And so she's going to attempt to keep you there while you are trying to complete your mission. And if you are seen doing that, she's going to try and stop you. This is the deluxified version of the game. The original one I got was a tuck box prototype type from my original video, link down below in the description. And uh, this is what you get in the game after the campaign has been completed. It's going to come with this wonderful storybook. It's actually really, really beautiful. It's etched, it looks like it's got gold leaf on it, and it's really, really well done. There's beautiful art inside and a full story that actually has an ending to it, which is, which is great. And it is really, really cool. A little tiny extra piece of the story for Magda, which is probably my favorite part about the game, which I know it seems kind of weird, but this game is very much based on the story, feeling trapped, and trying to complete your mission. It's a solitaire game that plays just one player, and it's all played in this little tech box here, this little baby tech box that is really, really high quality. The rule book is tiny as well. This is all you need to know about how to play the game. Um, while it is looks a little bit different than the original one, it's a little bit easier to read, um, uh, this is the main game. These cards here, you're gonna start with your stern of your ship and the bow of your ship. This creates your uh, ship. You put them to kind of together there. You gotta learn how the stern and bow are operated. Um, and then you're going to have a list of different things that you'll be utilizing, whether it be crew, cr crew member pilots or whether it's going to be the Magda cards themselves. And you're basically trying to complete your mission. There's gonna be certain missions that are required based on you going to different planets and experiencing different things. And Magda will wake up at certain points in time while you're shuffling through this deck. It plays like solitaire where you're flipping through cards, attempting to gather the right cards that you need in kind of like a grid formation. And if you're run up with bad choices, Magda might do something nasty to you by destroying planets in your area while you're trying to complete your mission. This game is all about the story. It's all about the feel. The artwork is really intense and beautiful and vibrant and it just does a great job of what it's trying to do. It's felt so obvious what this game wants to portray. It's a solo game and normally I kind of dislike solo games. I'm not really the biggest like advocate for solo games because I love playing board games with other people but when I want to play a solo game Magda's one I've actually taken out quite recently and quite frequently to play and experience with my friends having them kind of make choices with me and just experience the story all over again. Magda is a really really cool board game and if you've never seen it before it's one I strongly suggest you take a look at if you're into solo solitaire style games, especially if you get your hands on this type of a copy because it's got a really beautiful little booklet. Everything fits in a nice case and you get to see more of the artwork. So there you go, Magda by Gilgamesh Games. My friends at Magic Meeple Games have sent me their latest incoming transmission. I reviewed this game quite some time ago and got this game quite recently, and I've been really excited to try it out and to see what's inside. Now, I've just recently just opened it just a little bit just so I can give you kind of an idea of what this unboxing is going to look like, but basically you're going to be getting two decks of cards, one that hasn't even been opened, um, and it's their really, really nice quality compared to my prototype. Link in the description, you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's going to include a bunch of these tiles as well, which are excellent. Excellent. Really, really pretty. Uh, this game is a cool little like, you're working with your team, only one of you is actually gonna be utilizing the Meeple moving around while everybody else is kind of coordinating with you. It's a, a game of coordination where you have kind of like um, like the bomb game, right? Where you're ex a bunch of group of people are trying to explain what the bomb is like doing and how to solve it. And one person is trying to solve it. The, be shut up or everybody explodes. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and this game comes with a bunch of extra tile sets. And then it even comes with a ton, and I mean a ton of baggies that you can fit everything in. Uh, this game originally did have these and it had the cards, um, but the original meeples, not so cool. These ones here, however, are excellent. These are really cool little meeples. They're very big and very easy to see, which was super important for this game. I'm glad they chose to do that. The tiles are all very nice and very colorful and vibrant as well. These are one of those kind of, got kind of a unique feel to them. Them. 
and it just looks really good. I have been a fan of incoming transmission uh, from, the, from the original prototype, and now that the final game has come in, I'm excited to try it out. Uh, Magic Meeple Games has made one of my favorite games, actually, called The Fires of Eidolon, which plays kind of like, kind of like, um, what's a game you guys would know of? The, the island game where you're trying to escape? Um, uh, something something island escape you guys probably know what I'm talking about the, the flip you flip the tiles and people fall in anyway this game's uh, not like that this is actually kind of a coordination game and it's really cool this, this game kind of reminds me of like all those old school video game type games um, where you're trying to cooperate with each other though as opposed to moving around a side-scrolling metrovania type game but it feels like one of those and achieve different objectives by going to different locations and hopefully your character makes it all the way through. All of their games kind of remind me of little uh, or again, like little original Super Nintendo style themes and colorful artwork and whatnot. Really beautiful, really cool, two to five player game, ages 14 and up and 10 to 30 minutes. Well, it wouldn't be an unfiltered gamer video if I didn't talk about a John DeClaire game. So here's Ready, Set, Bet by AEG. The original game that I had had some random chips that he found from, I don't know, some other type of poker style game and uh, had some basic cards and kind of a felt mat. Uh, this one here is the nicer version. I mean, the production version of the game and it is gorge except I took out the tokens. It originally comes with these little tokens in the game. I still do have them of course. It's gonna come with these cool little meeple horses. It's gonna come with all your bets and bet tokens as well as cards that are used throughout the game. It's gonna have a nice beautiful board which is gonna be where the horses race and somebody's gonna be rolling dice or you can use the app online. Link in the description as well if you have this game and you don't have the app. Um, and then of course, you have the betting board here. This betting board is basically what you think to imagine a craps table to look like where you're betting on the horses. And then I added my own little chips here. Uh, these ones work just fine um, as far as the money goes. Actually, they're, they're gone, I took the money out. So instead of using these, they're nice and thick and. They just work a lot better for me, but everything else I kept in here, and uh, they, it's really fun. This game is a wonderful betting game. This game plays a ton of players. It's a great party game. It was such a smart idea. This is a game that I got my grandpa to play because he used to bet on horse races, and so if you got people in your family that are a little bit older and used to bet on the horses, or still do, then this game is going to appeal to them, and it's going to be an easy game for people to understand. You're just placing bets onto the locations, onto your little like craps board, and you're watching the horses as they move around up until a point where you can no longer bet anymore, in which case at the very end of the race, you check to see who's won, where everybody's bets are placed, and whoever has the most money from the bets at the end of a certain number of rounds is the winner. Ready, Set, Bet is a great family game, a great party game. It's something that everybody can get into, even if you would like to have an announcer, that player can have a lot of fun as well. Really, really, really cool. This is gonna stay in my collection. Uh, for basically ever. I'm never going to get rid of this game because it just works so well as a party game and there are so few games that are like solid hits for literally everybody. This one is one of those games that literally hits the niche for pretty much everybody I've played with. The next game on the table is Imperium the Contention. This is the deluxe edition by Contention Games. This is a one to six player 4X style space game that takes 30 to 120 minutes and it's ages 14 and up. And I played the original with the original prototype and this one here, this, that he went all out. The designer of the game went all out. He did this all by himself. He took a lot of time and energy to make this stuff. Comes with a ton of beautiful, beautiful cards. These are about, I'd say half tarot cards, which is where you're gonna be utilizing your cards to move around through space and explore the galaxy. It's also going to come with trackers here, which are also extra thick. I love extra thick tokens because they last extra long. There's credits you'll be utilizing. It comes with a ton of miniature ships as well. And of course, all the different trackers and tokens you'll ever need. Now, what's also cool about this game is it also comes with one of these little scepters here. It's actually a miniature and it's kind of plasticky and it's a little bit flexible, so it's not going to be as damaged. And it's really, really cool. All the rest here are the cards. There's the base game, uh, different classes you can play as, and the cards you'll be gaining. It's a little bit like semi-deck building slash bluffing. It's a 4X game where you're moving around space, acquiring different ships, these little ship cards here, flying around, controlling the galaxy, defeating different spaces. But overall, it was a really, really fun game. And this prototype that is now a production copy here is just wonderful. I love the artwork for the game. You can tell there was a lot of love and time and and effort put into this game to make it look as best as one person possibly could. And it came out 
excellent. The ships are gorgeous, the, the, all the different miniatures are wonderful, all the different tokens and pieces are nice and thick and work very well. The artwork on all the pieces is gorgeous as well. It shows life to the different worlds, the different characters involved that you'll be dealing with. This is one of those games that is going to be a niche game. It's one of those 4X style games that has like a card game attached to it. There's a lot of different little mechanics. It's, it's a game uh, positioned by love and determination and it really, really stands out among a lot of other 4X games. If you've never tried Imperium the Contention, uh, speaking of which Contention games, uh, they, they, their next game, I don't know if they're still called, I think they're still called Contention Games, is Slay the Spire. So it's the same guys that made uh, Slay the Spire, same guy that made Slay the Spire here. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out the game Imperium the Contention, a really cool 4X card game, which has a lot of other cool, unique aspects to it. And you can just tell there was a ton of effort put into this game. And where would we be without a big one. Here's Rambo, the board game, the trilogy collection by Everything Epic. Uh, this here is basically a one player game and a one to four player game. And they both take roughly about 90 minutes and it's for ages 14 and up. You're gonna be playing in this game as Rambo or Rambo and his uh, constituents going through and dealing with stuff in the, dun the, the jungle. Now I went ahead and I have this box empty and I put everything in this first blood box here. So that you can go ahead and just make sure it's a little more condensed for your own collection. But in this game, the original prototype I got was basically just two scenarios from the base game. And what I got finished product was not only the base game in full, but also the first blood game for solo play. This is going to come with the rule book for first blood. It's going to also come with uh, the scenario and campaign. Oh, I dropped something for first blood as well. It's going to come with the core rule book, the core rule book campaign. Uh, Rambo, because you'll need him for first blood. And it's also going to come with these guys here, these knives. I'm holding them wrong. Here, here. These are, no? Yes? Yeah? They got the serrated edges in the back. Uh, these are like the round trackers. The ones I originally started with were actually probably about this big, and they kind of like tripled the size for your round mark pleasure along with all the extra character boards in the game that you will need a bunch of tokens and a huge amount of boards that are also double-sided for all the campaigns for both games the game's also going to be coming with a ton of miniatures you can be using to deal with the different dangers uh, in the jungle as well as all the main characters you know and love from Rambo and Rambo first blood um, it's going to come with a huge chunk of cards and when you think that's it it's going to come with more cards and then it's going to come with more cards and the cards just keep coming. This game has a ton of stuff. Everything Epic puts a lot of effort into their stuff. Make sure there's a ton of content for you. This is a tactics game. This is all about going into the field of battle, trying to achieve an objective and move on to the next campaign scenario utilizing your weaponry and utilizing your tactics as for where you're shooting and how you're trying to dodge and not alert enemies. It has a lot to do with Rambo. It kind of feels like you're playing as Solid Snake. It kind of feels like you're in Mission Impossible. If you like tactics games that make you kind of be put out in the field trying to avoid and may maybe like be undetected while also dealing with threats and solving different campaigns and you love Rambo, then this is gonna be one for you. So there you go, five games after the campaign. If you're interested in any, there are links down below in the description another after the campaign video for you. As you can tell, I'm sweating like all heck because I turned off the AC for the video because it's too loud. So I, I hope you appreciated just seeing some other games and also because it's so dang hot today, couldn't do a full review video because those take super long. So, you know, editing will be easier. All right guys, see ya.